Hello, Miss Hinsley here. Um, today I wanted to show off the bedrock worlds I created on the Switch. Um, if you've seen uh, any of the videos I've posted on, on my YouTube channel, uh, they have been mostly been in Java. The reason this is strange for me is I am brand new to Java, so <laughs> uh, I act like an alien in a whole different world even though I know the mechanics of the game and like how the game is supposed to operate uh, but that's because I play bedrock and there are some things in bedrock that are different and I learned how to play on bedrock and now I'm learning how to transition from using a controller to keyboard and as a result uh, my Java worlds have been a bit <laughs> of a struggle um but i thought that it'd be cool to show you my progress as a minecraft player via bedrock just so you can see that i i, I actually do know how to play minecraft i just have trouble with the controls and the differences between the two different uh games which i am still learning and actually i know a lot more about java mechanics than i do bedrock which is interesting because I started playing Bedrock, but I know more about how Java mechanics work. Yet, my controllers, because they're different, I struggle to play Java. So I wanted to show you some of the stuff I did in Bedrock. So, okay, I guess we can start. Um, so I have a lot of worlds. Um, but I guess one of the first worlds I started was actually creative because that tends to be how it is and um i prefer survival let me preface this side by that, saying that i prefer survival but i had a younger brother i still have the younger brother <laughs> uh who i refer to as years old who uh he likes creative and he had um minecraft before me uh he played on the uh i think xbox it was or was it the Wii? I, I, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that he found out I got it on the Switch and he decided that he could do it better than I. Uh, and I was like, no, I'm gonna build a better castle than you. So, uh, that is not it. I just went to the wrong world. The annoying thing about having uh, having uh, <laughs> this game, well, one is the, there are multiple annoying things about having it on Bedrock. One is them especially on the Switch, is waiting 10 years for your skin to load along with your Microsoft account it, it, and all of, all of that to load. It takes ages. Uh, I like my skin. I like the, uh, I earned my skin. I earned it through the achievements. Um, people will probably know this, but uh, Bedrock has a very much, you have to spend mine coins to get things. And I'm like, no. No, we're gonna just do achievements and get get things for free. And my Java skins actually based off of, well, both of these skins are based off of a character I created. This isn't actually what I look like. I really like glow berries when they came out, so I just decorated my skin with glow berries, and then I later designed my Java skin after that. Although my original Java skin was just the creator, I maybe I'll show you that later. Anyways, what I was trying to do was show you the build contest between me and my brother because I, being someone who had not played Minecraft very much before, wanted to show my brother, um, I wanted to show my brother I knew how to play the game. And you can see this is an old world because Bedrock forces you to update whenever you're on console. You cannot play it as an old version like you can on Java, which is slightly annoying. I could be wrong. I could just not know something about it. But, anyways, build contest. I I honestly don't know what I'm walking into here because <laughs> this was a while ago, but his was, I guess, this one's mine. Ah. I didn't like it. Okay. Trying this again. So, I'm pretty sure this one's mine. Yeah, this one's mine. Uh, so, years old, aka my brother, built this thing. He was really into... 
I didn't know he made- I forgot he made the roof fire. I don't know why he did that. Um, but this was his design. I honestly don't remember anything about this at all. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? But he, he was determined to have a feast, it seems, around end tables that are too oblong to be end tables. Interesting. Um, so yeah, this was my brother's build. I don't know what this is. I think this was another part of my brother's build. Uh, I think this is a hot tub. Anyways, so that was my brother's build. I wanted to build a giant castle, and I don't know why we both decided to use soul fire. We did. Purple and teal are kind of my favorite colors, though, so not too sur surprised. Oh, I forgot I made this cursed moat. Yeah, I made a cursed moat. And crawling's a thing. Oh yeah, crawling didn't used to be a thing in uh, in bedrock. I'm very stuck. Crawling didn't used to be a thing in bedrock. And now it is, and I'm still getting used to that. Um, but like, there was, I really liked, that's all my supplies. I didn't want to have to keep going into the creative menu and getting it. Um, I really liked, and I still do like, outdoorsy looks whenever the building has to be outdoors. You're gonna see a lot of the teal colors, a lot of the books. I like the library, so there's usually books everywhere. But I think I won this contest because we, if I remember correctly, I don't think we knew why years old, uh, why years old decided that uh, we needed to have a soul fire roof. Um, but each of the towers had like different levels to them, different bedrooms, different uses. And like I said, I had never played this before, so I didn't actually know what some things did. I just wanted to prove that I could beat my brother. I mean, I knew what netherite was, obviously. And I knew about Minecraft. Because, you know, watched it. And the only reason I got the game is because I really, really, really wanted to play this game. Because I saw it everywhere. And I kept watching all the different videos on it. Didn't quite understand how those worked yet, or where you got them. I just knew they were in the end. I don't know why I thought putting villagers randomly here where there's a bunch of lava was a good idea, but I did. Um, yes, but I think I won this one. Obviously, if, uh, if this was like the version that it actually was built in, this place would be incredibly infested, like so infested. Um, maybe not in the newer versions with the new light level requirements, but, uh, yeah, this would be so infested. This bat right here is proof of it. The, there's soul fire lights, but they're not very bright. There's definitely a zero level somewhere around here, or it's just dark enough for old versions to spawn monsters everywhere. I'm looking around a bunch because I, I feel like I had a secret passageway. I love the secret passageways, but I don't know where I might have put that. Um, I might be here. Ah, uh, yeah. My secret passageway into this. Oh, this was going to be a dungeon. I never finished this. So this is going to be a dungeon. Um, and because, you know, every good castle needs a maze like dungeon. Never finished the dungeon. So there's that secret passageway, I remember. And then all these walls, I took the time to just make sure that the towers on the walls were accessible. So, guard tower. And all the towers had a guard tower. Once more, this would be incredibly infested by monsters. I, so yeah, I guess we should hop on to the next world. Although this one says that it is older. Jules is actually 
the older world. And what I was building is a castle. This is once more creative. It's a castle from books I like to write that I thought would fit the kingdom that it came from. The issue with this is I, uh, I think, I think I bit off more than I can chew. So let's take a look at this one. I don't think I ever finished this castle. We're gonna see if this uh, world will let us load without kicking us. Obviously, you can see the thing is huge. Um, and I did. I figured out that I need to have light levels. But like I used the worst block and I positioned them in the worst way. It's an incredibly empty castle. It looks cooler above than it actually is on the inside. There's nothing in here. And realistically building this thing out of completely quartz and survival is... It just sounds like a nightmare. I don't know what I was thinking. White concrete powder with quartz for accenting would be better. Um, but you're going to see once more a lot of the open air design as we go up here and we look at the tower and you can see everything. And if I look lost, it's because I am lost because I, uh, I know that every tower is connected somehow, but I don't remember when I built this, how I built this. Oh, there's goats. Oh yeah, because I updated- okay, so the reason it didn't ask me to update is this world got updated the last time I looked at it. Which is why the date was newer, even though it is an older world. I honestly, I'm surprised that I didn't use my I uh, iconic purple and teal. Um, but then there was like a throne. I would redesign this if I were to recreate this, the, the, the castle from those books that I, I've been writing. Because this, uh, this doesn't really reflect how I think it would look now. The red would probably stay white too, but this would have to be different. Mostly because I wrote in a council. But back here is the unfinished part. I didn't finish the back wall. I got tired of making the back wall. Um, these towers all slam into each other awkwardly. I think the roof is the most interesting part of this entire build. And I tried, I think I once more tried to make a dungeon slash basement area. Which, knowing the castle that this is from, it both does and the castle having a dungeon both does and doesn't make sense. To all the different towers. And it, it does look more interesting from above. Um, but the, the, uh, I built another version. I don't know where that one went, but I built another version of this tower and our castle that the inside would reflect it a lot better, but the outside does not reflect it. I don't know where that went. That might just be on the version my brother played uh, of Bedrock on like the Wii or the Xbox because it's not here. So I know I had a dungeon entrance somewhere. I don't know where it is. Yeah, but this is based on, oh, here it is. This is based off of a, a, a book I was writing. Let's move on to the next world. Okay, so Opre, um, I believe Opre was my first survival world. So there's a lot of fun stories going on here and you're gonna see me figuring out how Minecraft is actually supposed to work here. <laughs> Cause until here, I didn't play survival at all. And once more, the dates on these are not correct because uh, <laughs> I uh, I keep logging in back onto them. Obviously, they've been around since the Switch came around, so. Okay, so I call this world, um, Opera I call the island world. And if you look at my map, you'll see that I spawned in the bottom left corner. And I could not find a village. I could not find any massive land things anywhere except for the two that you see in the two different corners. And so I called it the island world because I couldn't find anything ever anywhere and I was too lazy to go anywhere. Really wanted a brick floor. I smelt this for like ever. It's, I, I'm looking at this world and I'm just like face palming a bit. 
but I had a garden there. I made a quartz. I don't remember making a quartz floor. Why would I do that? This seems foolish. I I didn't have enough quartz for that. Um. And then I had this. This. I don't know why I built this. At all. I guess I just wanted to build an underwater. Like viewing area. No clue. Don't know why I built that. What I remember most about this world are uh, two things. This one, this use, this was my starter house, and I built my actual house off of it. Well, actually, I remember three things about this world. Uh, this dungeon area that became my mining zone. Um, and then when I go outside, you're gonna see that I was trying to figure out portals. And I, for the life of me, didn't understand how they worked. I just realized this is survival. I should have my weapon. Uh, yeah. Couldn't understand portals. Kept making them. They all linked up, so I didn't know what to do with that. I built a dungeon. I remember that. I always build a dungeon. There's always a dungeon. Oh, no. I'm stuck. And... Yeah, all these portals go to the exact same places, the most pointless portals. The other thing I remember is, I guess, the tree island? But that's not what I was thinking of. The bridge that I used whenever I realized that the portals weren't anything. But I remember killing a bunch of cows, because I was determined. I was determined to have the best library ever. Uh-huh. Best library ever. And this is my library. Oh my gosh, why did I think that looked good? But yeah. So many books. This took forever to get enough cows and enough sugar cane. The way I was doing it wasn't effective at all. And it doesn't even look good. I don't know why I thought this looked good. And also, as you can see, I didn't understand how enchanting tables worked. This was my enchanting table. I also didn't enchant anything. Like, at all. I. And if you remember seeing my brother's build world, which, in retrospect, he did know more about Minecraft. Uh, if you remember seeing my brother's build battle world, he actually had enchanted armor. I did not. But yeah, this is... The island world. Next world. Okay. I'm a little terrified to try and load this one. If you look at the file size, it is enormous. That is because I may or may not have loaded hundreds of chickens into my house. Because I it annoyed years old and I thought it was funny. Every time I've tried to log on to this world, which is disappointing because the project on here is super awesome. It, it hates me. It's so laggy. I might have to kill some chickens just to get free. But this world has a huge story behind it. <sighs> okay. I'm not in my house. That's good. So there's no chickens. Okay, we don't want to be here. We're actually going to put our heads down. Okay. So I guess the first part of the story of this world is... One, I built a mob farm. Was learning how to do that. Two, my brother, years old, uh, made this innovative sugarcane farm where we put in, uh, we put in, sh um, bone meal and we make it grow really, really fast. Um, I was learning how to do villagers. Copper was just introduced, I believe, which is why we got Titan's Tower over here. And the new diamond spreading was a thing where uh the diamonds were distributed all wonky because it was the first 1.17 update and i could oh and also they introduced dripstone and i made a lava farm i love these kind of farms and i was proud that bedrock had lava cauldrons long before java did are the chickens here? The chickens are gone. Where did they go? Oh no. Oh, 
there's so many eggs laying around. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, and you can hear the amethyst. I remember just having an obsession with just building the most obnoxious brick houses. I'm surprised. Oh, well, here's some more of the chickens, but they're still not as many as I, uh, I remember. All these cats. But, okay, so the story behind this world is, um, I wanted to do a giant build, like, in survival. The last world, I, I didn't know how to do anything. Oh, there was our starter house. If you see that lovely ruin over there that has nothing anymore. I still have all the blocks off of it, so now it's just crumbles. But I wanted to do a project. I needed red terracotta to do it, so I found a Mesa biome using a biome finder. Built a, a railroad cart inside the nether. We're not going in there. I don't want to lag the nether. Um, and dragged a whole bunch of terracotta out. And if you saw me looking at the cats, you probably saw what I built. I, uh, I built this. Never finished it. And if it, any of you guys are nerds like me, you would know uh, that this lovely artifact, not artifact, that's not the right thing. This lovely building is the Temple of Time from Ocarina of Time. Um, the thing about this uh, temple is because there was no diamonds to be found and because I didn't understand villagers yet, uh, I built this completely out of stone pickaxes, guys. It took forever. It, it was so long, so much work. It was unnecessarily done, but here we are. And then over here, I have my first redstone contraption. Place the three stones and play the song of time. And you flip the switch. It's out of tune. Oh gosh. Although I just closed the door. Um, one time an Enderman freaked me the heck out, because this was a single player world before I eventually invited years old to play some with me. I just realized you guys can't hear the song of time. I'll have to... Yeah, this plays the song of time and it opens the door. You guys probably can't hear that because I have, I, my, I have my audio wired weird. But in here, it's the sanctuary time. I was gonna... And I never got to this. I was gonna dig out an entire massive underground section that you're supposed to drop into when you touch the lever here, which I never put. And it was gonna be the sacred realm. And then I had these other two towers, sections of the build dedicated to, and I, I gotta see if I can remember how to get up. I think it's just this. I had two sec, uh, three sections it's gonna be four. I never finished the fourth section. I think I barely did anything on the third. Dedicated to the four different famous goddesses from uh, Legends of Zelda. And if we go up here, we should come into the room dedicated to Din first. So this is this is Din. Um. Everything's lava, it's super hot. Um, then I had a room dedicated to Nehru next, so here's Nehru. I had this lovely aquarium up here, this is pre axolotls Went and caught a bunch of fish. Never finished the back of this room. And once more, I used quartz. Why did I decide I had to do that? I don't know. This was gonna be Hylia. Look at Hylian statue. Uh, that's just scaffolding. I don't know why I use glass for scaffolding. And then this was going to be obviously Ferrar. And I don't think I finished Ferrar. I think I started on Ferrar. Didn't finish. Um, but yeah, that was the big project of this world. One entrance in. It was super fun to build, but it took forever because I, I mined all of this stone. And then I had to smelt it all because I used a stinking whole heck a ton of stone 
pickaxes to mine it all. I was an idiot. I don't know why I did that. This was my learning phase. This world was definitely my learning phase. Um, like it was in the possibility to get a stone. No stone. Do I even have one in my inventory? I'm gonna laugh if there's one in my inventory. It's not my inventory. I love the bedrock glitches, guys. Look at them. Yeah, I, I don't have, I guess I have one iron pickaxe. I, I occasionally, when I was tired of the stone ones, I would get an iron one, but then I would be like, I just wasted all these resources on, uh, on, on a pickaxe. Let's just make more stone ones. So yeah, it was ridiculous. I also wanted to get sea lanterns for the ceiling and the windows. I didn't do that because sea lanterns are hard to get. And um, fun fact about bedrock, uh, the door trick that works in Java edition where you just put a door down and you can use that to make an air gap in the water, that doesn't work. I eventually came up with a uh, turnaround for that, which was to bring soul sand with me every time I went into the ocean for an underwater quest. Turtle helmets were a thing I discovered there. And then, you know, there's the aqua aff affinity. Um, this is my passive mob farm that also works as an XP farm, should I need it to. But this was whenever I first started dabbling in villagers, and you're going to see that I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, the reason I sailed here is I found a village close by. Figured it would be a good place to do this in. And here's the village. It's been decimated. I needed wood. I needed stone. And here's, here's where I kept the villagers. I didn't understand how they worked at all. There's two different sections. I don't even know if I can go get, go down there because it's lagging so bad. But I I just you can see it like this. This is what I did. Bunch of beds, random stuff all over the place. Oh, holy cow is it annoying. It was so annoying. And if I had done the villager uh trading process correctly, I would have had an Pick pickaxe without having to stink in mine for it. But no, uh, I used a whole bunch of stone pack pick pickaxes and built the temple of time. And then didn't finish the temple of time because that would be too easy. I will say the temple of time did turn out pretty good for somebody who, who didn't know what I was doing. And over here, you're gonna see my lovely rock quarry where I got all the stone for said temple of time. It it's insane. This huge, the level I'm standing on right now is where everything used to be. And now it's in that, that chest up there. It's about as high as some things used to be. I mined a ton to build that monstrosity. Anyways, I guess we should move on. I do not think this is mine. This might be years old. Because... Years old just did not know how to name his world. He he still doesn't know how to name his worlds. This one is the world I remember more clearly, uh, and it is where I got my first elytra. It's loading in. It's loading in. Okay. Um. So I don't know what this is. Oh gosh, I, I never mind. I know what this is. I'm putting this back. This is. There's a story behind that. Um. So. These are jelly cats. If you don't know what a jelly cat is, uh. Look it up because it's, it's, it's an awesome story. Um, but, anyways. I don't know the story behind any of these names. I don't. Well, I know about what, what the story is behind this one. Um, and it's because for some reason, 
years old decided that his name was now Aaron. That is not his name. Uh, sometimes his, his bedrock name is Aaron, but his Java name, not his Java, but his uh, Microsoft name is is years old. So it's a bit odd. I don't know why his name is not Aaron. I don't know where that came from. The cows. But here's where I learned how villager training worked, and boy, did it change my life for the better. Over here, for some reason the trap door is down, don't know why, is the villager hall. It, this is not the villager hall, that's it open slots for more villagers. This is the villager hall. And, yeah, I learned how to trade here. And then I also attempted and failed, mind you, to create a uh, iron farm. I don't know how to get up there. I know it's above this where all the water's dripping, but it didn't work, which was annoying. I eventually figured out iron farms. I can't really show you because the world that I figured out iron farms are on is gone now. Oh wait, no, I know how to get up there. It, oddly enough, to get up, you gotta go down. You go over. Is that correct? I have no idea how to get up there. Anyways, I figured out the villagers were great. Um, I also figured out I really liked caving. Caving is awesome. I learned how to enchant. I can't show you my enchantments because they all went into the lava with my wings. I didn't have netherite. But I could enchant things. And then I began to make things a lot more aesthetically pleasing. This is a pumpkin and melon farm. I have since learned that this is not the most effective version of a pumpkin and melon farm. Automatic ones are amazing and everyone should invest. But that's a pumpkin and melon farm. And then my actual farm was decorated. I essentially wanted to make this place so that I could live down here and have all the resources I needed without ever having to go up to the surface. This is an entrance to a mine. Quickly learned you need to cover up the fireplace so the bees will stupidly catch themselves on fire. Oh, and this is the first world I went to the end, obviously because I got my elytra. Wait, do I have extra stuff? I'm just discovering this now. I have extra stuff. But yeah, I learned how shulkers worked. It was fun. It was great. Now, story behind the You're Invited. Uh, once more, as most worlds do, eventually my brother, eight, uh, years old, infiltrated this world. And he... He wanted to... Oh, and then I got so excited when Bud was introduced. We were playing this world for a while. We would come off and on this world whenever the heck we wanted. It it did not matter. We, this is the world where we learned how to do things. It was a fun world. And even though we didn't stay in this world forever, uh, we did learn a lot of things, like how coarse fruit works. It was just a good world to experiment with and actually learn how the game worked instead of just what we saw on the internet. But the story behind the You're Invited sign is years old decided he wanted to marry a villager. And I will show you said villager. So I know I said that I don't like going to the surface, but there is a way to the surface. Wait, I should sleep. It's probably night up there. It usually is, yep. Years old said he wanted to marry a villager. And he wanted me to Officiate the wedding, even though I'm not, I'm not certified for that at all. Um, he wanted me to certify the wedding, and he wanted the wedding vows to be some variation of the wedding vows from the Princess Bride. I don't know what that says about this villager wedding, but he he caught a villager, uh, and, and he he built a little altar area and then this is Shaniqua his his wife <laughs> now Shaniqua 
accidentally triggered a pillager raid. And my my brother thought Shaniqua had died. And so he married a shovel. And then he found out that I had protected Shaniqua and was angry because now he was married to a shovel. And he was married to Shaniqua. And I still to this day don't understand the logic of small preteen boys. <laughs> um, this was his first attempt at a castle. He's not a castle builder. This is the villagers uh, area where we kidnapped all the villagers from. I don't know what was going on with that building. I think he just went any blocks he could find. And this is the railway station that we used to get all the villagers into my house. So that actually goes straight to my house. That's underground. Part of the reason I started this world underground is because I knew years old would eventually join and eventually he would want to stay with me and I wanted to hide my house from him as long as possible. So I did. Why are all these random blocks in these random places? Is this because I was trying to build a minecart track and it went wrong? Probably. Yeah, but we had this whole wedding and he marries a shovel because he thought that he his wife died in a, in a pillager raid. Pillager raid. And the annoying thing about this pillager raid is we could not find it. It was missing. We were looking everywhere. We were looking in my base underground. Couldn't find it. And it just kept going on and on. You could hear all the horns. It was annoying. It was so annoying. But yeah, uh, this lovely shovel encased in glass here. His new wife, Zinni. Uh, and then up here is, I think, the lava farm and where I smelted things. I think I had a weird spot for it, but I don't know where that weird spot was. I still don't know where that weird spot was. I just know- oh, here it is. Yeah, here's where I smelted things. And I was trying to make red nether brick. My brother's not a fan. If I- I really want it. I guess I'm getting a little- yeah, I'm just mind blinking on what I want to say right now. So yeah, this is this world, and I loved exploring this world. I wanted to create so much in this world. And then I lost my wings, and years old and I kind of just looked at each other. And we were like, yeah, we're never logging on here again. And yet here I am logging on again. I'm going to show you exactly where these wings were lost. Right there. There is the place of tragedy right there. It was in this place. I stupidly flew in in and just lost everything. Except for there's some items here, so now I'm curious. Did they survive? That would be awesome, but unlikely, because I died in lava. When you die in lava. It's, it's just game over. Depressing but true. But no, I loved these giant new caves we had. And I was just flying and flying. Having a grand old time. And bam, tragedy. I I dived too. I guess, like an Icarus, I, I just flew too close to the hot lava. And, which is sex. I, I was just learning how to fly. So, I don't know why I thought flying close to hot lava was a good idea. Uh, the area I'm going to now is where I was trying to make a project. I don't think I ever succeeded at it, but I wanted to build an underground city. Never succeeded at it. Th that's the beginnings of it. Never finished. And yeah, I guess that's all there is to see in this world. Just nothing exciting about it. Uh, Clone Wars didn't come until later, and this was done with a friend that wasn't a small preteen boy. The actual person who came next, that person, world who came, that came next, is Treetopia. And this is my first hard world. It's also, um, when I never finished, but I wanted to do villager training, I discovered the uh, rules of villagers, and that 
Uh, you could only cure villagers if they were on, well, not only cure, but only have a 100% infection rate for villagers if you had it on hard. So here's Treetopia. This world, I didn't mind the obsidian. I just built it out of lava from my lava farm. And it's called Treetopia because it's inside of a giant tree. I made this super epic library. This is probably my favorite of the libraries that I've designed. As you can see, I, I, I have gotten the hang of it. My brother, he was, he, my brother never played on this world. I never let him. But he was watching me and he told me to use looms to make empty bookshelves. And I thought that looked so cool. Um, and then I built a beehive room. Once more, I, I thought this was one of the coolest designs. I think I've gotten cooler since then, but eh. And then I made this pumpkin farm. Once more, I still haven't moved on to the new version. And a lovely fishing spot. Ah. Um, this was a man-made cave. I made that myself. I wanted to learn how to make caves. And then I made all these farms. And I had started on doing villagers over here. But I never really got that off the ground. I just began the, the, the first parts of villagers. Which is ironic because I, I made this world purposely a hard world. Because I wanted to do villagers. But as I stated before, this entire world is built inside, underneath, not inside of, underneath a giant tree. That's my mind before you ask what that is. Um, a giant tree. That was years old. If you saw the... Here, yeah, Brian. He has been renaming himself Really Weird Things. I guess he's not Aaron right now. On his Nintendo. I don't know what he's Aaron on. But this is the little lookout point for the tree. And I made it an acacia tree because... No, not acacia. Acacia and oak tree because I really like the new acacia trees. This is the upstairs. And this this world's not going to have much to see, unlike the previous worlds. Apparently I accidentally stripped that wood. Smithing table. But yeah, this is the tree I built. This definitely isn't one of the older worlds that I've done. I, I think I just started on it and lost motivation like halfway through. Never came back to it. Which is disappointing because it actually would have been a cool premise. Because what I wanted to do, and you'll see the layout for this one here, is I wanted to make a villager, uh, a villager city. That was overlooking this whole area. And I, I made the outline for it. I was all ready to go. Had this track going from the village over there to here. And I never never finished it which is kind of sad because this tree is awesome I love this tree I in this world you actually see how much my skills had improved but I guess we should move on to the next one okay so this one is definitely newer this one has nothing on it and I, 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 I um, this one's older do not know I do not know why it's looted in sooner and it needs updated but this is the legend of Apre. So, uh, Apre is French for after. And it is a world that I created based off of a different book I am uh, trying to write. I have a lot of books that I, I'm writing, but I have never finished. I like to write, but I also don't like to finish. <laughs> Endings are hard, guys. And, and so are beginning, middles, and ends. If you like to write, you would... Uh, you would understand that. So this is another creative world. I had been mostly survival. So I guess this world should have come before the Opre world where it was a sea world. But this is a world that is on a uh, a single chunk, I want to say. Like, you know the size the original Minecraft was? That's what this world is. But I made this really horrible looking castle. Uh in this lovely cliff 
there's no lighting. I mean, not enough lighting, so you know you got the skeletons running around. And you see my favorite colors, the purple and the uh, teal. Which, these colors look good together, but like, not, maybe not in this way. I don't know, I'm, I might be just a bit self-deprecating about this. That, that's a staircase to nowhere. I like the shape of this build, actually. I just don't like the execution of the colors. Next up is this isn't a Minecraft server. I don't know what I did in this world. I just know I did it with years old. Oh, wait. I know what this is. Okay. So this is... As you can see, I actually have wings in this world. But I have wings in this world. I figured my life out. I've continued my trend of building extravagant builds. You know, I had wings and I still didn't use them. Extravagant builds underground. I actually got better at flying. And I put a bunch of fairies inside of a library. Um, but the, 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 uh, the catch about this world. I don't know why I don't remember what was going on in this world. And yes, years old did randomly join this world a ton. Um... I failed. <laughs> How am I not dead? I'm gonna register that pain in a minute. Up, 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 up. Um, the reason why, the, the, the thing about this world is, I decided I was going to make an attempt, and, uh, if you ever seen that mean there was an attempt to build, uh, something quite ambitious that I definitely didn't finish and it would be because you know copper was a thing the, the statue of liberty i tried building the statue of liberty guys i ran out of copper and i just gave up and i i never came back to this world after i ran out of copper it's not even that terrible um the arm's a bit out of proportion that tower is not going to stay there that was for an achievement i wanted to get the the star treasure achievement so built a tower but i tried to build the statue of liberty i also created yet another training hall and this isn't the world where i first started playing with uh pumpkin farms but this world does actually have a pumpkin farm which is fantastic considering <laughs> all of my farms before this one were manual pumpkin farms. Once more, here's... Oh, there's my brother. This is painful, guys. This is not his normal skin. He, he looks like a girl. Yeah, there's my brother. <laughs> uh, and here is the pumpkin farm. He's trying to use the emotes, but it's not working. Yeah, my brother... I, I noticed earlier that my brother was online, but I didn't realize he was going to join my world. I was going to surprise him later and join his. Um, he's probably going to get confused, because I'm going to leave and then go to a completely different world soon. But that's my brother. Um, a thing about this world is, if you know about the YouTuber Technoblade, uh, I built this world right after he passed, and I got a, tel uh, a polar bear, and got him some friends, and I named him Steve. You know, in honor. Felt it was appropriate. Oh, yeah, that's, that's another thing we did. We went to the deep dark. Um, got a lot of stuff from there. The thing about the deep dark in this world is... Not in this world, in this version, is I think it's easier to do the deep dark in bedrock. And that's because y you don't have to hold shift. It just... What is he pointing at? You don't have to hold shift, and it's insane. Yeah, but you don't have to hold shift. You can just press it, and then you're shifting. Let me explain to him. It, it, it auto-corrected. How did it do that? 
I understand why he can't spell. Why can't I spell? <laughs> he's trying to figure out what I'm doing. And now he's typing. But yeah, this is I actually got better with wings in this world, which I am very proud of. Um took a lot of effort to do that. I'm still not great at them though. I'm still pretty terrible. I am a person who likes the wing pattern designs that can't that can't fly. And once more this is another world where I tried to make it say so I could uh Oh he's gone. Oh good. I trampled my crops. Um I just trampled everything. See, I got better at wings, still not good at them. And I keep dropping water, that doesn't help. There we go. Um, yeah, but we explored the deep dark. That was a new thing, we wanted to see it, it was cool. Um, and so we went and explored the deep dark, and we got some cool stuff. Lots of extra armor that we don't need. It was a good time. Um, it was, um, really easy with the fact that we didn't have to get up and I think the crowning moment of the deep dark of exploring the deep dark is when I accidentally got a warden stuck in the nether uh it glitched there I don't know how it got there I don't have video footage of me doing the thing they did but I uh, lost all my stuff and I had only an, an Iron pickaxe, the guy wouldn't despawn. It was really annoying. So I just charged it with an iron pickaxe so that it would despawn and get out the the nether path and stop killing me every time I tried to leave. So that was fun. Yeah, I'm not showing you the deep dark. I do know that years old was building his home in the deep dark in one of these worlds. But I don't know which one. So this next world, Blossom's Grove, uh cherry blossoms had uh, just come out so I created an experimental seed that allowed it to have a lot of cherry blossoms right next to spawn and I went from there voila um so this world is one of my favorites but it's brand new and it's because I did redstone guys um, my house has an open roof design, which means I have to sleep when I'm up here. Can't just avoid it. But it also means that all the monsters can see me. Once more, this is a hard world, so I should probably not... I should probably take care of that guy. Yeah. But I got armor trims. That's why I like this world so much. This was expensive. This was pointless. It looks awesome. And also, I renamed it my stuff. Also pointless. Fortuna like sick. I never named that one again. Apparently, I don't know where my 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 hoe went, which is sad because I think that one's like named scythe of, of something. It's not actually a scythe, but I pretend it is. It looks cool. Yeah, don't know where that went. Um. As you can see, by this point, I'm actually good at the game. I- There's my scythe. I never made it netherite, that's why I don't know where it is. Midnight scythe, and... Cut through. Um... I like this world a lot. It- It's not coherent. The building in it isn't coherent. It's a lot of experimental randomness in random places. This, uh, pink house up top was my star house, and I started just building downwards. Um, Pumpkin Farm is actually right in here. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, and I don't have an automatic sugar cane farm here. Lava. And then I cured all of my villagers because I was tired of trying to drag villagers places. So I just lured zombie villagers and cured them for this world. But no, the, the cool thing, and let me make sure I'm doing this correctly, is this. Is this. If I could press the button correctly, 
and stand in the right spot. So this is a war room I built. I think it's the coolest thing ever. And it's why I like this world so much. I made this epic mosaic on the ground that you can barely see because I put a table there. And then I made a secret room for war. And that's why it's my hero. It's just a really cool design for that. And then the cooler part is there's no levers here to get you up. You have to use skulk to get out and you have to be fast. So wait for the skulk to go through and hop. And that redstone there was all my own. I didn't have to look it up. I just figured it out myself and I'm very happy about it. Also fish. This was meant to be a fishing area because there's like no good water in this area. But my years old insisted that I put fish in here and I keep accidentally hooking them and dragging them to me. I knew it was a mistake, but I did it anyways because he wouldn't leave me alone. And at last we joined my newest world. So this is Narian. And this is the world I've just started. I love this world a lot. It's so fun. Um, and I just started it just the other day. I already have my enchanting ready to go. Got some diamond. Haven't really done villagers yet, but I'm setting up a place for villagers. If you remember Treetopia, I mentioned that I wanted to build a village for the villagers to live in. So that's what this place is. So this is going to be a uh, years old built that. Um, but this is going to be a villager town. Um, right here we've got, uh, you can edit signs now. It's not supposed to say what it says. Years old edited the sign. I need honest opinions from anyone who cares to give me an honest opinion. Does this magic room look cool? Years old hates it. I know that the colors are clashy and it's a bit loud, but I did that on purpose because I thought that it would make it give it a more magical vibe. I'm going to have my potion brewer right here. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And yet, years old hates it. Um, next over here, I have a blacksmith area and I'm going to have like the blacksmiths, the tool smiths, the weapon smiths, they're all going to be here. This is going to have lava in it, but I covered it up until we get the villagers in here and safe and sound. Uh, and this is going to be the mayor of the town. Uh, Barbara, I believe that's what we said her name was going to be. Yeah, see, years old is editing my signs, and I don't like it. Why is that a thing now? Um, this is going to be a library. It's going to be huge. It's going to take 10 years because of those books. And this is a, it's a little church because I felt like, you know, and I don't know how many people out there would get this, but look. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little church. No, but... My two actual favorite things about this world are, uh, one, well, actually I have three favorite things. That building right there that years old apparently hates, and I'm still working on this village, so it's not done. Um, this building has the thing I love the most about this world. And then my llama collection. I had a little Pokemon llama session where I try to get all the different llama fabrics. I spent like 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour collecting llamas. It took forever. Um, but I collected them and it was fun. But my, my number one favorite thing about this world is inside this tower right here. And it's a reference to the world that I don't have access to anymore, where I got actually good at building. And it is Timothy. Uh, so piglins keep wandering out of my portal. That happens a lot. And so I, in old world, caught a piglin named Timothy. And 
I did it again in this world, so Timothy lives. And he's the best thing ever, and I almost lost him one time, he almost wandered off, and I was like, No, Timothy! Um, but yeah, there's Timothy. Hi! And I guess that's all of my Minecraft worlds. I guess it's just now time to go and pester years old. Aaron, years old. This is the same person. And yeah, it shows up differently. I believe this is his creative world that he's trying to build a floating island on. No, this is not the world it was. I thought it was. It is creative, though. He prefers that. Years old, where are you? He kicked me. <laughs> Fair enough. So I guess that's uh, all of my old builds in Bedrock. Um, thank you guys for watching and for taking time to listen to me ramble on about Bedrock. <laughs> Of all things. Uh, hope you enjoyed.